Hi, I can see there's already a few people in the room. I've got Sweetie behind me. And I'm sporting a sporty, ah, ah, shut up. I'm sporting a sporty new haircut because I got hold of my kitchen scissors and hacked the fucking lot a bit too short. So normally it was down here. I could grab it, it's gone. And it's uneven and everything. So yeah, COVID hairstyle, DIY. <laughs> so I can see that we've got Joss, Jane just said, hi, howdy folks. Joss, we've got Jimbo, we've got David. And I think I saw, did I see Rich Mitch up near the top there? Yes, Rich Mitch. And we've got Raj, the sentient man, hashtag always early. So Raj has just done a stream. I didn't actually get to see it, sorry. Um, Jimbo saying, I hope this is a review of the new fragrance bean and not anything R-rated. Well, you're about to find out, Jim. Uh, Peter's here. Anyone else had the chance to try it yet? So I think we're talking about bean. Um, has anyone else tried a bean off of the company called And Perfumes? Because that is what we're talking about. We're not talking about anything else, but yeah, I thought I'd call it bean because it would trigger you all. <laughs> um, uh, da -da -da -da, David Mays here. I've been chocolate block at work. Fit you up for the evening now. And Jimbo's done nothing all day but sit around and eat ice cream. Well, that sounds great to me. Uh, Jim, Claire, you look beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, the hair's a bit, um, it's a bit missing and it's a bit uneven, but oh well, it'll grow back. Can't wait for the hairdresser to come. My hairdresser's gonna kill me when he sees what I've done. <laughs> Literally, I left it curly and I just got my kitchen scissors and started hacking it. And I only wanted to cut it around the face just to bring that up a little bit. But then there was this big gap so this was really short and then that was really long. So I had to then just kind of like hack at it. So there's probably bits around the back that are still long. The underneath seem to have cut really short. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, it was fun. Not gonna lose sleep over it. Uh, Hilary says, beans you say? Yes. And it's a pajama party, guys. Are you all wearing your pajamas? I'll show you what I've got on. It's very, it's very cash. <laughs> Very casual. There we are. <laughs> my, my very casual Smurf vest. Uh, <laughs> uh, the sense of me is here. Hello. He says, hello, Bello. Um, and we have Katrin here. And who else? And John's here, fancy seeing you here, Joss. Is your hair naturally curly, Claire? Yeah, it grows out of my hair like this. And the shorter it is, the curlier it is. So like the, butt, the bits I've cut really short around here are just like these crazy, crazy spirals now. Eva's here, fragrance test tube. Hello. <laughs> um, Rich Mitch says Felicity Flick Bean. <laughs> That tan though, yeah, I've been at the beach all day and I, John, because it's tropical down here. <laughs> Tony's here. Hey, Tony, am I in your pocket or are you free from work at the moment? Scott's here, says hi to everybody. Uh, John says, Rich, have you got the everlasting gloomy fog and missed up your way? Uh, Joss started cutting a hair before lockdown. Well done, Joss. Um, I've never cut, I haven't cut my hair since I was a tiny little kid when I wasn't supposed to and I like chopped a bit off and then my mum said to me later, you got a bit of hair missing Claire, what, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> um, but I haven't cut my hair, own hair ever, apart from that. <laughs> Rich Mitch, how's the bacon did you say? I don't think we were talking about bacon Rich, but you know, we're, we're gonna get onto food aren't we, let's face it. Food and bean flicking. Tony's on the toilet. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he's home. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, and uh, Rich is sharing some videos again already. So feel free to click on Rich's video. 
And uh, if you want to share your drink of the night, go ahead. Mine is the usual. I'm a bit limited. This is my second one. And that's all the Diet Coke I've got left. So, you know, I'm one half a drink left after this. It's not going to be the wild Saturday night that I might have hoped for because I didn't get any more Diet Coke because I was busy at the beach all day. Sun in my bits and pieces. Just as we're literally making beans now in our instant pot. That's funny. That's a coincidence. Great minds think alike there, I think. John Snow says, don't strain, Tony. Don't want to burst a brain vessel. Uh, yes. And we don't want any of that Farmer Giles situation either, do we? Which comes from straining. Uh, the sense of me. I can't handle that cup. I love this cup. It's so good. It's the best cup ever. Mm. And Tony's got gin with Fentiman's rose tonic. So now I'm picturing you on the loo with a big glass of pink gin. <laughs> Heloise says, Rich, I wasn't prepared for the Bacon Fellows accent. I think I'm missing something here. Robert's here. Evening, everybody. How's it all going tonight? Hi, Robert. And everyone's saying hi to Robert. <laughs> uh, Tony says, what other way is there to live? Yeah. Um, so do you like uh, Sweetie? You've got her back to you all a little bit. Sweetie, look. Look, everyone. There. Look, what's this? Oh. Right. Kovac. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know what you're all talking about. So I'm going to share my scent of the night. So that means is you need to do so too. And I've gone for my Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal at Paris. This is one that's got a pear note. And I guess you could say it's a juicy pear. Where's Barry when, he, uh, when you need him? It's just... I was craving it on my drive home from the beach. I wasn't aware to the beach. So today I wore, I had um, Narciso Rodriguez, Rodriguez, <laughs> Narciso's ombre, which is what Sal sent me the decant of that I did the first impressions of the other day. I had that mostly, that was my main fragrance. We did get killed quite quickly by the sun. And then I also had Something, oh yeah, I had a bit of chameleon here. That lasted really well in the heat and I could still smell it quite strongly on the way home. So Zoologist Chameleon was a really good summer fragrance for lasting without being heavy. And then at the beach, because um, Ombre died, I took a decan of, or I took my travel spray of Mon Precious Nectar from Golan. And that was beautiful on the beach. It smelled amazing. And it was wafting around as I was walking back to the car. A gorgeous almond orange blossom thing, which I love. But on the way home, I don't know why, unless there was some on my seatbelt, I felt like I could smell this somehow. Somehow, some way, somewhere. And because, do you get that? Sometimes you sniff something or you feel like you're smelling a fragrance you've got and because of that you want to wear it so like you might catch it on a piece of clothing you might catch it on your seat belt or something and once you catch that whiff you're like I need I need to smell that now properly I need to spray that and that happened to me so I think there might have been some on my seat belt and when I got out of the shower when I got home that was what I wanted to wear and it's a really nice uh, sort of fruity, slightly honeyed floral with a bit of, a little bit of vanilla, but not loads. It's just really nice, kind of fresh and sweet at the same time. Like a completely versatile, year round, really nice fragrance when you just feel like you smell really good for any, literally any occasion. I could happily wear that. So I'm, even though it's not like a mad love, if I look at some of the other stuff I've got, I still, that's a, it's close. I really like it and I was craving it. I was, so I wore it 
but there's more. Let's catch up on your comments quick. There's more though, that's not all I'm wearing. Um, uh, David May's wearing ombre leather. Scott's wearing Grand Soir, MFK. Rich, uh, I don't know. Um, Jim, Sylvain Delacourt's Oscarine on the right arm. Imaginary author's memoirs of a trespasser on the left arm. Testing, testing. Uh, Joss is wearing Christian, Christian Siriano. People are people. I have not heard of that, so that's interesting. Uh, Tony says, hey Claire, really weirdly, Bex asked me what that was like this evening. Right, okay, hold that thought then. Um, yeah, it's, I think based on Bex's taste, which I think sort of veers gourmand, I think she'd like it, but tomorrow I'm gonna to be making a load of decants up for different people. I keep, I, I'm really bad at this, I promise stuff, and then I don't get around to doing it, but I'll send you some so Bex can try it, because I was gonna send you a few bits anyway. Um, and I've got a few other stuff, I've got one for John to do, and I'm gonna do some stuff uh, for Lizzie. So yeah, okay, tomorrow decant day, and I'll send you some. I think Bex will really like it. Claire, did you see Moody Boo's review of La Belle? Yes, I did, I commented on that one. I couldn't believe it because she is a bit, um, as, she, as she kind of elaborated on, she's a little bit of a niche head. No, I wouldn't say niche snob, but she's definitely a niche head. So when I saw her talk, when she first started talking about La Belle, I thought, oh shit, I bet she don't like it. I bet she thinks it's really tacky and crap. But um, yeah, she loves it, so that's cool. It's interesting, um, who did I watch? Ollie's mum. Ollie's mum did a, I think she did a mini haul and that was one of them that she got because of, I think, various YouTube videos. And uh, so she had the same experience as me in that she thought it was a little bit cheap, not cheap, but a little bit too sweet and generic when she first tried it and then changed her mind and fell in love and found it really addictive, just like I do. So it's interesting how that one affects people. Uh, Catherine is wearing Chanel 31 Rue Cambon. Peter's wearing Vega from Guerlain. It's a very uh, hard to find discontinued fragrance. John's got Noir de Noir. Uh, Chocolatey Oud Rose off of Tom Ford. Um, John needed some gothic dark rose for my mood tonight. Are you in a dark mood, John? Should we be quaking? Uh, Robert. Right arm Penhaligans, much ado about Duke and left arm Penhaligans, Rory and Radcliffe. So Robert's on a Penhaligans kick. Joe is just finished showering, sprayed some dirty by Lush. There, that's a funny one, isn't it? It's called dirty, but it's actually really clean smelling. It's a perfect after shower scent. Uh -uh. Is Sue here? Oh, there's Sue. <laughs> Hi, Sue. <laughs> Sue pops up just as Lush gets mentioned. It's almost like there's like this little radar. Little radar. <laughs> Sue's wearing Chifra Palatan with Atelier Cologne Vanille Insonse on top. Fuck me, Sue. That's a bit much. <laughs> I love Chifra Palatan. I could not imagine ever, ever layering it or wearing it with something else because it to me it's like so complicated and it's such a mishmash when you first spray it it's like whoa the idea of layering it is like, so you're mental <laughs> um liz is here damn claire's doing a live now do i watch the live or game of thrones big decision hmm lizzie i think you need to think a little bit harder and then make the right choice and you know what that is Shaverfard, Smurfy Girlie, have you seen Sebastian's new video? If Boris Johnson abolishes the two metre rule, do we still need 15 sprays to project more than six feet? Yes, I saw that one and I completely agree with him. <laughs> um, oh, is Barry here? I missed, um, I missed Barry's, I didn't see a comment from Barry. Oh yeah, there he is. Hey, hey, he says. Hi, Barry. Um, Oh, uh, and Ben's here from Centaur. Hi, Centaur Ben. 
And Jim says priorities, Lizzie. Priorities, Lizzie. Come on, I've got a, I've got the bean. Claire, I pick you, Claire. Don't put me in a timeout. Yay! Well done, Lizzie. You made the right choice. <laughs> uh, Katrin, I need to iron cheek with Palatam. Yeah, me too. I've, I have actually got in, enough in travel sprays that I don't actually, I can't justify buying a bottle because I don't wear it a lot because I find it so rich and so com complex. But I really, really love it. I put it way, way, way up there. It's a masterpiece. I think it's amazing. I don't necessarily love the opening. It's, it's very crazy, but uh, it doesn't take long for it to go all caramelised, gooey, labdum, and oh, oh. <laughs> um, Lizzie, oh my God, how can I miss your bean? <laughs> um, Jim, two beans in the room, that's going to be confusing. Uh, Barry says, what's up, you lovely people? Centaur says, what kind of bean are we talking about? We are talking about uh, Tonka bean, and in actual fact, we're talking about a specific fragrance that's called bean. And it's it's by the, uh, formerly from Lush, so the a family that own Lush, uh, one of the, I, I think he was the found, one of the founders, it's called Simon Constantine. He's now kind of separated from Lush, but I'm not sure if it's completely separated. And started his own company, it's called And Perfume, so A-N-D, And Perfumes. And the first launch was called Bean, and I've got it there. Uh, this was a launch that they put every penny from the sale, so not just the profit, but literally every penny from the sale of the first 100 bottles went to help this community in the Amazon. And I've forgotten what they're called. La uh, Sue, if you're still here, Sue will know the name of the community. Apparently, it's kind of well known that they really struggle. And in particular now with the whole COVID situation, uh, they really need a lot of help. And so they uh, put all the money from the sale of this perfume towards that community and the tonka bean is harvested uh, from that area so they buy the tonka the kayapo community thank you sue kayapo if i'm saying that correctly and the tonka so there is harvested from that area that's in here and it's a very heavy heavy on the tonka hence the name bean and i think i'll, I'll may as well just spray it now while we are talking about it so this arm I've kept clean and I'll spray it now so then we've got a little bit of time for it to develop. Uh, so yeah, this, this is only available in the UK at the moment, or it was, I think they've sold out now. Um, 10 mils, 35 quid, so not cheap, but it is very, very rich and I think it's quite rich in natural ingredients. Time for a sip. So if you are watching, we've got 23 people watching. If you are watching, you do need to sign in. It's a health and safety requirement. I just need you to sign in. You can say hello, you can do me a little thumbs up or a smiley face. Just let us know that you're here, just in case there's a fire or anything. And don't forget to like the video. 25 people watching, four thumbs up. I think you can do better than that. <laughs> uh, I think I saw Chris saying hi. Hi, Chris is here, Hilary's colleague, fellow animal groomer to, to the stars. Chris is in the house. Um, uh, Lizzie says to Barry, have you recovered from Rosa Salas Oods yet? Um, I'm missing quite a lot of comments. Sorry, I'll go back a little bit further. Here we go. There we are. <laughs> Tutti Fruity, hiya, where's the moth? Thank goodness the moth is not here because we don't need that kind of drama because I'm not afraid of moths, all right? <laughs> I'm not afraid of moths and I've got Sweetie by my side. You, I, it'd be nice if you could see her really because she's all like cosy and lovely. Ooh. Oh, if I move it, you know it's all going to go wrong. Sweetie, look up. Look up. She's purring as well. 
Now what? Now what? Sorry, yeah, you can't, I, I can't really get her in, um, get her in and me at a good angle. <laughs> Barry, I had to come for Claire's bean. Don't let your wife hear that. John, well, Claire is very bean coloured tonight. <laughs> um, So we have, we said hi to Chris already. Um, Rich is sharing another video. Tony says, Claire, I just told Bex and she said you've made her heart all fuzzy and she will zip into your DMs. She can certainly slide into my DMs anytime she likes. We'll get that sorted. Raj, there are three fragrances which made me appreciate Tonka. Guerlain, Tonka, Imperial, Dior, Fev. Delicious and Pig Gaze, Knightsbridge, all superb. I like Tonka as a note. I don't usually want it to be the main player. So uh, Tonka Imperial and Fev Delicious were a bit too rich in Tonka for me. I find Tonka can be quite spicy as well as sweet and powdery. Um, and this fragrance, is, it's, it's really nice. I probably should talk about it. Um, but it probably is a bit too heavy in Tonka for my taste. Um, Centaur says, Jolie Cannoli has a say 69. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, Barry, it's a cheap Aqua Di Gio perfume with a spicier feel. Um, Oh, Ben's done the third like. Oh, we've got 12 likes now. That's better, thank you. But, you know, we've got 26 watching. Come on. Come on! Uh, Joss says, Tonka by Commodity is really nice. Lizzie says, I feel like I earned my stripes reviewing five of those ouds and I managed better than Barry. Oh, these are the Rosa Salis ouds. Um... Shaberfond, is that a Long Island iced tea you're drinking? Vodka, rum, tequila, gin with cola. No, it's just vodka and cola. It kind of is. It's just missing four ingredients or <laughs> something. <laughs> Tina, signing in for health and safety. Well done, Tina. Thank you for that. You know, it's 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 just it's for your health and safety as well as my insurance requirements. I need to know who's in the room. Mark Virtual says sexy ginger. Uh, Katrine says it feels nice to have Two animal grooms in the house. I have a miniature schnauzer that needs attention regularly. His name is Gizmo. Oh, cute, Gizmo. Um, oh, did you hear Sweetie Belch? <laughs> Honestly, it was Sweetie, by the way. It totally was Sweetie. Uh... Tony, I didn't know you named your parts uh, Jackson. That's interesting. Okay. Liz, I fancy a drink now. Saturday night at Claire's requires some sort of drinky poo. Absolutely does. Yeah, get yourself a drink. Crack open a bottle of something nice. Shaberfond, I'm wearing Armani, Special Blend, EDP, and base notes of Virginia Cedarwood, Cashmere, and Amber Tonic. The Tonka Bean Whiskey is a prominent heart note. Stephen Patton, anyone tried Moon Bloom by Hiram Green? Faults, I love Jasmine and Tuberose. I've not tried it. Anyone else tried Moon Bloom from Hiram Green? Um, and Jim's asking Shaberfond, what's your name? Yes, I, uh, I also don't know, so that would be good to know. Um... Liz is going to have a Disarano and Coke. Chris sprayed on Fev Delicious after work. It's cosy, goes well in the 
with the bourbon I'm about to drink. Nice, very nice, very cosy. Is it cold where you are, Chris, or you just feel like getting cosy? Um, I take it you're in, you're bound to be in Kentucky too if you work with um, Hillary, but I don't know what your temperature's like there. Okay, right, let's talk about this fragrance. It's called Beam. I don't even know the notes apart from Tonka. Uh, John says, because I'm classy, I'm on the Carlsberg. <laughs> I don't even like lager. What, desperate times, desperate measures? Uh, Heather's got 90 degrees. Hi, Heather, by the way. 90 degrees Fahrenheit, where she is. Um, uh, Sue, if you're still here, have you got the notes for Bean? <laughs> I know this Tonka, it smells, it's got a slight acidity. So it, it's definitely Tonka, you can tell it's Tonka from the first second you spray it. Um, but it's got a slight acidity, almost slightly medicinal feel. Um, I'm actually finding it a bit much. If I'm doing that, smelling it, it's almost, it's almost like a bit too much. Um, in the air, it's much more pleasant. It does have like a, a powdery, vanillic feel, which you get from Tonka anyway. Um, and it's a hint of spi warm spiciness to it. Heather says, hi Claire, snuck in late. Um, Josh says, it's not so nice here now, feels like San Diego. Mm. Ah, so uh, Brazilian orange oil, lavender, neroli, fennel and tonka. So I think the fennel's giving it this spicy feel because fennel can smell a little bit licorice can't it? Um, the cat's run out of food and I don't like the cat going hungry, so bear with. Bear with, let me get sweeties and more food. You run out of foodies, sweetie. I know. Let's get you some foodies. What's this? What's this? Here you go, darling. Can't have my little sweetie not having the foodies what she needs. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't, now you say lavender, I can understand it being there, but I would never pick it out. But it does give it, I guess, that kind of herbal, dry herbal feel. I would never really guess Neroli. It's, it's kind of rich spicy, slightly vanillic, slightly powdery. From memory, I don't think there's much in the development. Um, I think it's just this cozy, warming, spicy Tonka type scent. Um, I think I missed some comments. Here you go. John Snow says, I'm an ale man, lagers too fizzy and wheat. I think he means sweet. Uh, Barry says, Coco is poorly today, worming biscuit made her sick. Oh, poor little thing. Uh, Jimbo's having a drinks break. Uh, Lizzie said, the fennel was very dominant on my skin, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an unusual one. Um, I feel like, I still feel like it's a little bit medicinal, a little hint like licorice, I guess, from the fennel. Mostly it's powdery, sweet, rich, spicy, musky, cozy scent. But yeah, I, I feel like it's just too Tonka heavy. And I knew, I mean, I knew the name, I knew what it was but I wanted to support it, so I'll probably see if I can swap it or something, because I'm not sure. Although I probably should wait till the winter, because it's it feels like a winter fragrance, and I might enjoy it in the winter. 
right now I'm more into slightly fresher stuff. Uh, Hillary's back. Um, Chris is asking Hillary what's for dinner. <laughs> I'll tell you what I had for dinner. A leftover roast chicken and roast vegetables, and it wasn't enough, and I felt hungry, but I didn't have anything else because being good. And I really, um, my sweet craving, because I haven't had any sugar today, my sweet craving hit me um, straight after each face. My sweet craving hit me straight after dinner, but I didn't do anything with it. I've got a packet of biscuits in the cupboard, and I'm going to leave them where they are. Uh, Lizzie says, I quite enjoy fruity beer on occasion. <laughs> Hilary's having McDonald's fancy, I know. <laughs> oh, it's easy, isn't it? Oh, hi, Sal. Sal's here. She says, hi, all. Um, and Lizzie says, I think Tonka is one of my new fev notes. See what I did there? Barry says, closing in on 5k, I see, Claire. Big party when you hit it. Yeah, I'm nearly at 5k. Um, yeah, I've been wondering what to do to celebrate. Let me know if you've got any ideas. Um, Shaverfun says, is it true Mr. Smelly's giveaway is the keys to an Aston Martin? Not the car, but just an old set of keys from a junker. <laughs> yeah, probably. Is he doing a giveaway then? Jim says, no tarts or cakes, good on you. Yeah, a whole day. <laughs> a whole day with no. Oh, did I have anything yesterday? No, this yesterday I didn't have anything either. I've had yoghurt. I had some, some sweetness because I sweetened yoghurt with uh, one of those powdered fake sugars and a little bit of almond essence and I've had a little bit of fruit so it's not like there's no sugar but there's been no biscuits no cakes no chocolate so yeah because I've been I've been overindulging in it to the point that it's ridiculous so um yes Centaur says, I am a mead and rum guy. Mead, hey, that's a little bit retro. <laughs> this is clever, Claire, my fev note for sure. <laughs> uh, Chris says, mead is great, get in touch with your inner Viking. Yeah. And Francis is here, happiness sparkles. She says, hey girl, hey Francis. Um, bathtub live stream for 5k, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, Chris says, I agree with Hill. <laughs> um, Katrin says, invite us over for a party for 5k. I'd love that. I would absolutely love that. I'd love to have you all here for real. Or hire, hire a mansion with a really nice swimming pool somewhere like, I don't know, south of Spain, south of France or um, Caribbean island or something. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Izzy says, glad it's not me that's lowering the tone today. I reckon here we're starting though, with talk of bath time live. <laughs> yep. Well, I definitely wouldn't uh, go so far as to be reviewing the bean in a bath time live. That might be a bit, a bit close to the knuckle. Uh, Lizzie says, hey Claire, I'll rent you my mansion. Thank you, that'll work. Um, just have fun y'all and congrats in advance on Almost 5K. That's awesome, bye now for everyone. Uh, it says Joss, bye Joss, thanks for joining. Jim says, I did a DNA test and found out I'm 7% Scandinavian and now I have a craving for meat. <laughs> Oh, funny. 
Scandinavian, eh? Mmm, chilly over there. Lizzie will even throw in the butler for... Is it a butler in the buff? <laughs> John, be... Haha, be ingesting logistics if we all... Ingesting? I think you mean interesting. Logistics, if we all invite six people at two metres apart, probably reach me up north. Yeah. <laughs> Naked butler. Mmm. Peter, very herbal, not unpleasant, just unusual. Are you talking about bean, Peter? Um. Chris says, Jim, that's more than enough reason to get some mead. Let the pillaging and plundering begin. Um, I don't know my uh, where I'm from or what what's flowing through my blood. No clue. But I do know that when I googled my surname, the first thing that came up was that a, a, I can't remember her first name, but a woman with the same surname as me was one of the first, oh, what do they call them, uh, convicts to land in Australia from the UK. So there was a ship of convicts that went over to Australia, I guess it was their punishment. And one of them was a Sprigmore. <laughs> so that was a fun fact. <laughs> Jim says, uh, Chris, I'm 6'4", so I'd make a good Viking. Well, Jim, I didn't know he was a tall fella. It's funny, isn't it? It's like, you, you just don't know. You don't know when you just see like a little uh, icon or whatever. To shave a fun, I think half the people in this group are moderators. At least half, I would say, yeah. <laughs> um, Lizzie says apparently I have lots of German in me have or have had <laughs> was it Jeremy <laughs> oh now he's lowering the tone <laughs> Chris says yeah Jim I'm 6'1 and have the hair for it <laughs> Right, let's sniff this a little bit more yeah I feel like it's now slightly losing the licorice or the licorice ness is, is coming down a little bit although it's still there uh, DB70 is here hello everyone I'm afraid my bubble bath time has clashed with your live stream sorry do you know what you can do both at once? Because I can live stream from the bath. You can set, you can totally watch a live stream in the bath. David says, I don't know. Tony gets to 1K in subscribers and now he's on his brother's stream. Has a drink named after him. What next? A fragrance. <laughs> Lizzie says, never eating a German sausage. <laughs> I sense a note of pride in that, in that statement. Uh, Brian's here. Oh no, I'm late to the bean talk. You made it just in time, Brian. <laughs> John Snow said, did anyone see Jezza's fragrances for strippers today? No, is that real? <laughs> did that really happen? Uh, David G's here as well. So I've got uh, David G in the house. So I found bean to be quite harsh and almost herbal smelling. Liked it more in the dry down. Probably will save it for winter. Yeah, I see what you mean, Sal. I don't think I'd call it harsh. It doesn't feel harsh to me, but yeah, it's a bit herbal and it's it's very bold. It's yeah, but it's not really changing a lot. I don't think I don't know. Have you do you notice much development, Sal? Mm. Hilary says, I really wish I had a bath tub. Come to my house, Hills, you can use my bath. We could do a live stream together and we'll share the bath. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> uh, Francis says, scents that bring out the inner stripper. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, John says, if anyone watches it, watch his reaction to his own new fragrance. 
Okay, I've got to watch this now. I will watch it. Sal says, yeah, on my skin it mellows out a lot and loses some of that initial spiciness. Yeah, that's what I think's happening. It's um not as spice. It definitely retains the spiciness, spiciness, the spiciness that Tonka has, but it's not as full on. I think that fennel is possibly calming down a little bit. Tony says, Bex just had a bath. She said she wouldn't stream though. She couldn't get the angle right. You gotta be really careful. Streaming from the bath, there's a couple of possible mishaps that could happen. <laughs> Lizzie says, I saw the thumbnail for the stripper one, but noticed the bottle all looked the same as usual. So I scrolled on. Hilary says, I'm planning a trip to Europe. I'll definitely take a bath with you. Oh my God, we could do like the best live stream ever. <laughs> uh, uh, Barry says, is, is Jezza the mystery guest, Tony? Yeah, that would be a, an interesting one. Richard's here, hi Richard. Lizzie says, Hilary, don't forget your rubber duck. Katrina, it would take a lot to bring out a stripper in me. <laughs> Wouldn't take much from me. Not so much a stripper, more uh, a streaker. I'm more, a pro I'm more prone to streaking. I couldn't do all like the sexy dancing and throwing, throwing my knickers across the room, but I could streak at a cricket match. I say I could, I have. Um, Uh, Jim says you should make that one pay per view. Yeah, I think we could. Yeah. <laughs> David G, anyone tried many Zara's? Some good prices at the moment. Any decent ones? I only tried Vibrant Leather Summer and it's good, but I heard Zara's in general are poor. I only tried a few a long time ago. Dan had that rich, warm, addictive, which I think was really nice. Uh, apart from that, I can't really remember. Um, but I've heard that the Aventus clone, which I think is vibrant leather, isn't it? But not summer, just vibrant leather. It's supposed to be quite good. But sometimes you see quite mediocre reviews. And I don't know, from if you've already got a collection of designer fragrances and or niche, then why would you need Zara's, really? That's, maybe I'm being a snob, but um, yeah, I don't know. Anyone else? Brian says, streaker at the cricket match is the upcoming imaginary authors, isn't it? Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? <laughs> they need to collab with me on that. I can give them some real life experience. <laughs> uh, John says, the tobacco collection are all great and 9.0. Um, Barry says, I could do a bathtub live, just got to watch out for the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie says, does that mean you tan your hide just in case the occasion arises for a streak? No, no. Um, it, I, I did have a good tan actually at the time, so I think that maybe that G'd me on a little bit because I felt a little bit confident. <laughs> but um, no, I had white bits. It was a local, uh, a very local cricket match and it turned out some of my friends, my friends, children's friends were there watching it and their parents. So that was fun. I'd like to do it again. It's like, um, it's an adrenaline kick. It's a bit like shoplifting. Not that I've ever done that, but it's like that adrenaline kick. It, it's nothing like it. Uh, David G says thanks John and yeah with Zara's I just want to smell everything it's my life's mission no I get I do get that I definitely get that um, and if yeah for me like with the channel I like to try and, and smell as much as I can and vary it up a little bit um, Shaberfond says the 2018 version of Zara Vibrant Leather is good the 19 version is weaker doesn't project as well Jim says he's bought eight Zara's and was really impressed. 
wasn't really impressed by any of them you get what you pay for that's what i think jim um in general but then sometimes you can be surprised can't you so um lizzie says i visited loch ness no monsters unfortunately but one giant ken livingston <laughs> brian says we're going to need an instruction video on how to tan the front bottom <laughs> Uh, yeah, or maybe I could do like a YouTube t tutorial on that. <laughs> I wonder how long that would take before it got me struck off. How to tan your front bottom. Oh. Jim says, I went to Loch Ness and saw something. Must have been Barry. Um, sorry, itchy face. It's mostly cleared up, but it's for some reason itching at the moment. Um, Shaver Fun says Zara 8.0 is very good, as is the new unexpected spicy amber. Ego is their Armani Stronger With You clone. Pink Pink says hi everyone. Hi Pink Pink. Um, Jim says taping, taking a dip in the lock. Uh, Barry says, I like Zara, but you have to be picky. Right, that's me caught up with the mm, comments, I think. And um, Brian says, Zara Hom Tonka Wood is supposed to be like Val Freak, even the same perfumer, but I can't find it anywhere anymore. Ah, I'm curious, is it Zara that had the Joe Malone um, collab? I wouldn't mind smelling those. They sound quite nice. Shaver Fun says there's about 10 Zaras that are very good. Gourmand Leather, Rich Leather are good. Ultra Mel and Aventus clones. It's fun to compare them to the real thing while applying both. Don't we get our kicks in the funniest ways? <laughs> Lizzie's wearing Bow Daffrique today, coincidentally. Um, right, let's have another little sniff of this. Yeah, it is slightly changing. Um, feels like it's... It's going a little more woodsy, not exactly woodsy. How do I explain it? I don't know. It's, I think it's going more powdery, less spicy, but it's still fairly sweet. So it says one celebrity scent which really surprised me was Ariana Grande, Ari Ariana Grande Cloud. That gets a lot of love. It does really get a lot of love. I'd like to try it because it sounds like it's a bit different from Baccarat Rouge because it's got coconut, it's got a couple of different notes. I really need to try the whole Ariana Grande range because they sound really nice. Oh, they, apparently they're all a bit linear, which is something that does bother me, particularly with really sweet fragrances and like them to change a little bit. So that might be an issue for me, but... Um, Shaver Von says the Joe Malone ones are supposed to be too weak. That makes sense. <laughs> that adds up. Um, mm -mm -mm. Hilary says I'm going to hop in the shower. Are y'all coming too? Yep, yeah, we'll all jump in. Heels. Tony says, just went for a bath to find the Loch Ness Monster Barry. Yep, still a myth. <laughs> um, David says, I'm picky with people, but when it comes to fraps, I'm more likely to give them a go. We're in Encore Noir Sport tonight, but can barely smell it before sprays. Mm. Uh, Lizzie says, I'll send you a sample, Claire. Is that Val Freak? I think I don't like it. Is it got marigolds in it? I don't like marigold. I feel like I've tried that and I didn't like it. Save you wasting it. <laughs> but thank you for the offer. <laughs> oh, are you talking about cloud? Okay, if you're talking about cloud, then yes, please. <laughs> yes, please to cloud. No thanks to Belle <laughs> Um Yeah, Sal says, I think it's meant to have the same airy feel in Baccarat Rouge 540. Yeah, um, cloud. 
Loud cow cow. Yes, I would love to try it. Thank you. <laughs> David says, Tony, it's meant to smell like all noir, only lighter, very light. It seems, are oh, Joe Malone generally weak? You never had one. Oh, Joe Malone get a really uh, tough rap on being weak. I did have one that was fine, and that, but that was in the black bottle, so it's the Cologne Intense, and that was uh, Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. And that was absolutely, it was a, a EDP strength and it acted like an EDP, it was absolutely fine. And it smelled really good as well. But I think the ones in the lighter, in the clear bottles are colognes, the cologne strength. So um, they don't generally last that well. But I've never really given them a go myself. It's sometimes rumours go round about things and you just have to try them yourself really. Because you might find that a couple of them are quite good. Oh, it's eau de, Heather says it's eau de toilette. They just call them colognes, don't they? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Barry says Joe Malone, I love pomegranate noir. Jim says, I've owned, I think I've owned about half of the Joe Malone fragrances. They generally don't last very long. But the Cologne Intense ones last longer. Red Roses last forever. Uh, Lizzie says the coconut and lavender really set cloud apart from Baccarat Rouge 540. It's sweeter and more summery. I heard someone say it smells a bit like a, what did they say, a strawberry milkshake? Were they talking about that one? Or were they talking, they might have been talking about Burberry Her actually. Yeah, I think they were talking about Burberry Her, which is another one that gets compared to Baccarat Rouge. Shave of fun. Why can't Selfridges in London get their act together and stock some more bottles? They're one of the few international authorised retailers that ship around the world, including the USA. Uh, I haven't looked at their site for a long time. Uh, Barry says the Lime Basil one is too in your face. It's Joe Malone. Chris says Joe Malone Golden Vanilla Vetiver is extremely similar to Roger's Elysium Pour Homme, uh, just weaker performance. So there's a tip for you if you like that one. Uh, Tutti Frutti Jasmine Sandback Marigold gets a heart. Sal says, I got so confused and thought the Joe Malones were all men's colognes for a while. <laughs> Funny. Um, mm. Why, my face is itchy and it's so annoying. I'll start slapping my face again. Might be the sun irritating it. Mm. I think I need a drink. Mm. So I don't have much else to talk about. Um, on this wrist, I'm wearing this one, which I did a kind of a little mini review of. Um, this Eau de Machino. I can't remember if I showed you lot in a live. I tried to wear some of that on a bit of my body today. Oh, missed. But the sun killed it. It's got, it's just so fresh. It's really fresh without being a citrusy fragrance. Eau de Machino, it's, fr it's sweet. It's a fresh, sweet smell with this layer of like dry ice over it. It's, it's like, um, it's got this cool, it's like going to the ice rink and breathing in that icy cold air. I like it, it's fun, it's different. Uh, Shaverfon is asking if Selfridges is open or just selling online. I'm pretty sure they're not open just yet. I think there are the, uh, our non-essential retail stores are starting to be allowed to open up about now-ish or very, very soon. Think Pink says, has anyone been to the perfume place at the top of Harrods? Sixth floor. I was lucky to just happen to go on the opening day. Wow, I bet that was good. Um, I've been a couple of times. I actually like it up there, but I struggle to find it sometimes. It's a bit of a ball ache to get there because you can't just go all the way up one set of stairs. You have to go up in a lift to this point. Then you have to walk to the back of the shop, then find the staircase to go up the final bit. And often I get lost. 
<laughs> but when you're up there, it's so relaxing because you you don't have all the people that you do downstairs. And the sound assistants just seem a little bit more um, chilled. So when you're downstairs, whenever you want to try anything in Harrods, the sales assistants want to spray it for you. They want to ask you what you're looking for and and all that. And it's like, I just, I just want to be able to spray the bottle myself, smell it, walk away, not have to engage in a conversation with every single perfume person. But when you go up, you still might have to talk to all the people, but um, it's just much more relaxed and they're not like, they're not the same. They're not saying to you, what are you looking for? What do you like? Like they're a little bit more open to just chatting about the brand or whatever. So I like it, it's nice up there. Here's the cat. Let me see if I can show you the cat. Oh. Where's she gone? She's just there, come here. She's on the other, she's on the other window, come here. Before the moths get in. <coughs> Don't let the moths in. This is a moth free zone. No moths allowed. But I'm not afraid of them. John Snow says, I get frowned at by security in Primark. Don't think Harrod would let me in. Oh, shut up, John. <laughs> Pink Pink says, the assistant on the Roger section was lovely and informative. I, yeah, I've, uh, I went to the Tom Ford bit upstairs and the guy there, he was really nice. He even gave me a sample. Oh no, I think my, yeah, he gave me a sample when Black Violet came back in the private blend. He gave me a sample of that. He was really lovely. Um, the Floreku person who's right at the beginning, she gave me a whole sample set. She was lovely. Um, I sat down uh, with Clive Christian and a few other frag heads we all met up. And he talked us through all this, like, Passed around the smelling strips of all the different fragrances. It was really nice. I'm getting my uh, my trouble breathing again. Um, Lizzie says, boot security guard always lingers around me. Bloody annoying. I feel like nicking something just to make a point. <laughs> yeah, do it. What am I missing here? Uh, Chris says, sweetie, sweetie, come up here, come here, come on, hello, hiya. <laughs> um. David G says, people follow me in most shops, even the ones I work in. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, Heather says, if I'm going into Harrods, I'm going to all the floors. Yeah, you got to. I mean, oh, my fucking face. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, if you, yeah, I mean, we, I've got access to Harrods fairly easily. It's an hour on the train. So um, I just go go and look at what I want to look at and that's it, I'm done. But yeah, if you're not, if you haven't got uh, Harrods in your country, then you're going to look at everything. Yeah. But Selfridges is good. Harvey Nicks is good. There's lots of, um, yeah, Fortnum and Mason, Liberties. You've got to go to them all. You've got to do them all. Liz says, I've probably been too judgy on Roger Dahl. Lol, as evident by my comments on my latest video. Oh, I didn't see that. I'll check that. 
um, or the comments, because I was, I was the first, but I didn't, obviously haven't seen any other comments. Um, I've, I've been the same as you, Lizzie. I'm just not, not bothered. Um, I don't know, it turns a lot out, which makes me think that, uh, well, I mean, people say that it doesn't actually make them themselves, that it's made by a team of people at a fragrance house, and everything I've smelt is just nice. It's nice, but it is nothing that grabs me, nothing that excites me. I think you're paying for the name. It's like, it's a bit like, um, it's almost like it's not really a frag head. I know a lot of frag heads do like the brand, but to me it feels more like it's aimed at people with excess money and not really into fragrances so much. But, you know, maybe I'm just being an arsehole. It's possible. It's quite possible I'm being an arsehole. Jim says, I could spend the whole day in Harrods. I did last time I was in London, actually. Could spend the whole day in the food hall. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the cakes. <laughs> Let's not talk about the cakes. Oh, my God. Lizzie says, Roger Duff bottles are stunning, but they don't have a place in my collection yet. It's all about the status, I reckon. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, songs and songs, lyrics, hello. And Barry wants to get Enigma. And John misses British home store cakes. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, fucking face. It's really itchy. It's, I thought everything had gone. Hmm. Right, what am I going to do now? I've kind of run out of stuff to say. <laughs> so, uh, Valadina's here. Hi, Valadina. Um, I kind of run out of energy, I think, so <laughs> I might, um, I might call it quits. I've been going for an hour. Might put my feet up and watch TV. Tell me something to watch on Netflix. Something, what do I like? Um, I like British, British dramas. Um, I like mystery, crime, thriller type things. I think I need a break from true life. So I'm watching the true life bit at the moment. It's, I think I need a little break from that. So uh, recommend me shows to watch. Yeah, maybe not a documentary because I'm watching one at the moment, The Keepers. So I'm in the middle of that one. And I feel like I probably need fiction. And a little break from the, a little break from monotony a little hardcore dance that's gotten to be a little bit out of control. Uh, Lizzie says, check out Ever After Cakes. That's just gonna make me hungry. I can't have sugar. I'm not having sugar at the moment. But now I'm gonna look out for that. Murder, She Wrote. What is that on Netflix, David? Um. Shave of fun. Looks like it's back to the YouTube blackhead extraction videos for me. Oh dear. <laughs> um, uh, Tina says Jane the Virgin is really cute and fun. Okay, Jane the Virgin. Line of Duty is good. Are, th are these all on Netflix? Because I haven't got anything else apart from Netflix. I haven't got a normal T. Well, I've got a TV, but I don't. I don't have it tuned in. So I've only got Netflix. Uh, Rich says, watch the original British House of Cards. Uh, Barry says, Lufa. All oh, loads of suggestions. Um, right, House of Cards. And... Um, oh, that's your, your cake business. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, David, it's Murder, She Wrote, it's not on Netflix. Okay. Dairy Girls, okay. Yeah, that, is that like a comedy? Um, yeah, I saw, I think I saw a trailer for it a long time ago, and I, I remember thinking I'd like to watch that, but I didn't have a TV then. 
So yeah, maybe that will do. Uh, Nick's here. Oh, hi, Nick, talking with you. Uh, some lyrics, white blazer, white jeans. What, which is the best fragrance for men? Uh, I would say Vanish because that will get all the stains out. Um, Francis says it's Irish and so funny. Right, okay. Derry Gilson, that sounds like my light-hearted option for um, Easy Watch. And then I will maybe look at Rich's suggestion. I'm maybe a little bit afraid of Lufa. Is that a serial killer thing? I mean, I quite like serial killers. We're not actually as people, but um, serial killer drama, true, like not true crime, but serial killer crime drama mystery stuff Lufa is superb says Barry okay all right then Lufa Dairy Girls House of Cards I'll find out is House of Cards is that politician stuff what's House of Cards about Shave of Francis the esthetician from Vietnam who do the blackhead extractions get millions of views per video they're very relaxing to watch. Oh, you actually watch people popping pimples. That's mental. Uh, Sal says Lufa's good. Christy, just signing the register and saying hello, friends. Too many non fragheads around me to stay. Oh, shame. Well, I'm calling it quits in a second anyway because I'm a bit tired. I haven't got them. I haven't got the energy to put out or really <laughs> to put much more out. Really, I've kind of like. My battery's a bit flat, I think. Um, Tim says, Hi Claire, late to the party. I was watching the last episode of White Lines on Netflix. Really bad. When you say bad, do you mean that the show's not good? Or that the last episode's bad? I did, I started watching it, but I think I only watched maybe one. Yeah, that's the one set in Ibiza, isn't it? Yeah, I think I only watched what, a couple of couple of episodes um nick says war of the worlds on fox realistic take base in london and france okay barry i want to watch dare five bloods not heard of that shave of says house of cards is about an hour and a half yeah but what's it about um if it's only that long then i, I may as well do that <laughs> what I find with Netflix is you don't know what you're getting into so you start watching it and then you find out there's like 20 series of 20 episodes each and it gets a little bit um, too much And but you still, if you like it then you feel obligated to sit there and watch it for hours so I kind of like to know what I'm getting into <laughs> Lizzie says, poor Claire, tired, needs her downtime. Yeah, I think I do. I think laying on the beach all day is taking it out of me. It does say, doesn't it, laying in the sun? Um, so, uh, original British House of Cards has got three series. Okay. Um, but you're still not telling me what it's about. Is it about... Pol I don't know why I'm thinking it's about politicians. Correct me. Tell me what it's about. Shout out to the pair, says Barry. <laughs> um, Lizzie says, I'm more into fantasy and sci-fi. I'd recommend Grimm, but I doubt you'd enjoy it. It's not new. Um, is it like Brothers Grimm fairy tale stuff? Because I like all that. Um, I like... I like, I, I used to read Terry Pratchett. I got through quite a few of the Terry Pratchett books, which is, call it, call that fantasy, don't you? Um, yeah, maybe I'd like fantasy. Right, Grim. Okay, I'm gonna try and remember some of this stuff then. Um, Rich says, I eat pears now and shit like that. Sounds like duck getting attacked by a fox. 
Um, Jon Snow says Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Really? <laughs> um, Rich Mitch says, do you like Paul Schofield, not Philip Schofield? I only know Philip Schofield. I don't know who Paul Schofield is, but I like Philip Schofield a lot. <laughs> Lizzie, oh my God, I love Terry Pratchett Claire. Love you even more now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I read quite a few books going back years, but I did find because they were you had to read one after the other. I lost, I lost it. I, I didn't know where I was, and there's so many. It's ridiculous. The Discworld novels, um, but I was a child when I started reading those. And I carried on reading them into my, probably into like mid-twenties or so. Um, uh, Rich has shared a documentary to do with Paul Schofield, I think. Um, Tim's watching Buffy. Uh, Lizzie says, Grimm was a low-budget, fun fantasy cop versus monsters, but very charming, fun and cool. Okay, I will give it a go. I'll give it a shot. Got loads, loads now to um, to look into. Nick says, "How's your frag coming on?" I don't think there's going to be any updates with my frag for quite a long time. Um, I haven't spoken to the perfumer for quite a while, but last uh, she updated, but she's still working on it. So it'll be a while. I'm my guess would be it wouldn't be it wouldn't be this year. Um, but you know, you never know. Still hoping, hoping it will still happen. Uh, Brian, what Terry Pratchett would you recommend? I love Neil Gaiman. Oh, I don't know that one. Um, yeah, I just read all. I just started reading the Discworld novels. I started with the first one, and I don't know where I got. But um, I know there's other books by him. Um, I might have read. I can't really remember. Lizzie says, if you love Neil Gaiman, then read Good Omens. He co-wrote it with Terry Pratchett. Is that a standalone book, Liz? So it's not like you had to have read the one before and you, it's not in a series. Uh, Francis says, Dirty John is good. Uh, Bianca Enash is here. Hi, Bianca. How many times did you order from Place Vendôme? I think two or three times I've unboxed, I know I did two unboxing videos on my channel, so I've definitely ordered twice from them, I think, yeah, I think it was probably twice, uh, it's been a while though, it's a real treat to order from them, they just spoil you rotten with extras, they're really nice, I kind of want to buy something from them again, but I also want to go to Paris to get my Galan, I like going to Paris for Galan. I want to go to Paris. Who's coming to Paris with me when we're allowed? I think that's where we should all meet up. That's the obvious place. Hey, sweeties, look at their shoes. <laughs> yeah, let's all go to Paris and buy Guerlain stuff. Lizzie says, most Terry Pratchett are fun, sweet, charming. Personally loved all the witch-related Discworld novels. Um... Nick, what's your favourite house currently? For me, it's Galan. Anyone else want to share your favourite house currently? Um, Jim's coming to Paris. Jim's in. Uh, Francis says Paris is in my bucket list. Okay, so Francis is in then. Um, Lizzie says Good Omens is one book, Claire. It was recently adapted to screen on Netflix. Oh, so is it on Netflix now? Can I watch it now? <laughs> Scott's in. Let's all go to Paris and get really drunk and sniff perfumes. And eat, eat snacks. Eat the best cakes in the world. The cakes. The cake shops in Paris. Oh my God. Oh my God. And the Fritz. <sighs> they even make good pizza in Paris. Mm. I really like Paris. What I love about Paris is the beautiful buildings, not the necessarily the ones you go to look at, just the buildings as you walk down the street. 
they're all so like they've all got like gargoyles and features and stuff. Love it. Uh, Rich says favourite house currently could be here a while. Sarah says Narciso Rodriguez I tried the Rouge one today and I think it's my fave. Ah, oh, interesting. I think I tried that one in a shop and it didn't do it for me. There's a note in there I didn't like. Uh, Francis, this sounds like the best trip ever. Yay! Um, uh, can't remember if it's still on there or was it Prime. Um, Rich says, Scott, have you ever thought of doing a stream? Yes, Scott. Uh, Lizzie, never been to Paris. Afraid we'll meet up in Paris. Yes! Let's do it! <laughs> Where do you stay when you go to Paris? I just stayed in oh, what, uh, cheap hotels, basically. Well, not well, but say cheap. Um, Paris is expensive. So, what would be... Yeah, so... But you can still find Airbnbs and hotels that are less or a bit less than 50 quid a night if you look hard enough and you don't mind that the room's a bit grotty. What are you doing, sweetie? Stop it. Um, yeah, wherever, really. Whatever you can find on budget. Um, yeah, we'll get the train, we'll get the train to Paris. Sorry about itching my face. We get the train to Paris and we can have a little drink on the train. <laughs> I love a train drink. <laughs> It'll be fun. Uh, Brian, I try to visit Paris at least once a year. It feels like a second home. I've Yeah, I've been to Paris. I went two years in a row. Um, I haven't been this year, so I, I probably would have gone. But it obviously didn't happen. Um... Maybe I'll make it near the end of the year, maybe. Or maybe we can all make it. Maybe we can all go. Um, Rich Mitch has heard of Dewey's latest release of Cheaper Palatin. No. I don't know. Like I've smelt quite a few Dewey's and Alexandria's and don't quite do it for me. There, there's something not quite right. Yeah, Lizzie says, yeah, let's do it. Who's coming? Yeah. Let's, do you know what's a nice time? So I I went in February both times. So last year and, and the year before I went in February and had the best weather ever. It was like uh, sunny. I didn't need my coat when I was walking around. Um, this is perfect. So maybe like February, March is a nice time to go. Uh, Francis loves the train. Tim, I love Paris. I, s I so want to go and see my relatives there too. I actually got an extra reason to go. Oh, we've got no battery. Battery's running out. So it's not just my internal battery, but the battery in my phone's running out now. It's like telling me, it's telling me I need to take a break. <laughs> um, Brian says, Joe Voy. Uh, Lizzie says, are you coming, John? Uh, Francis was in Ireland last February. Nice. <laughs> John says, I'll get the cow saddled up, Lizzie. Uh, Nick says, Claire, I really liked your events video where you was in the hotel, etc. Um, was that the Essence one? I usually, When I go away, I usually do try and do a bit of a, a, bit of a vlog type video for whatever it is I'm doing. But yeah, I did one for Essence uh, last year in Milan. Um, Rich says I'd never buy a Dua. Jim says I own one, but don't think I'll buy another. Um, yeah, Essence, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I I like doing stuff like that. It's a bit different. Not everyone wants to watch it, but... <laughs> Rich saddled a few cows in my time. Oh, Rich. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay then. So it's agreed that we will all go to Paris. It'll be so fun. Imagine if we like imagine if we all met up, 
how fun would that be? Like, well, everyone flying in from the different places. Me and Lizzie will be on the train. We'll pick John up, or John can pick us up on the way. Um, Scott, Nick, Rich, Barry, <laughs> trying to think of Tony, trying to think of all my Brits. All my Brits. Um, uh, Hillary flying, and Chris, they'll fly in together. They'll be grooming a few dogs on the plane on the way over. <laughs> the earth moved. Oh, Rich, you're so funny. Uh, I am really going to have to call it quits because A, the phone's dying. B, I'm dying. Well, I'm not dying, but um, I am a bit low energy. So I think I need to chill, drink my final drink. And it's chill time. So I hope you all have a lovely evening, what's left of it, or day if you're still if you're still daytime where you are. Um happy weekend. Don't forget tomorrow is Frank Dicted Live in the afternoon uh, where they have the mystery guest. So I will try and pop in and chat to you all there. But for now. I'm gonna say good night. I'm gonna go chill and watch. Maybe Derry Girls, maybe something else. I look for that Terry Pratchett um, thing. I'll have to scroll back to see what it was called. That's it. Good night. Thank you and all that stuff. Don't forget to like the video. I need more likes. Don't know why, but just just do it. Just do it. All right.